The Unfettered Mind, Writings from a Zen Master to a Master Swordsman by Takawan Soho and translated by William Wilson. What does unfettered mean? It means the release from restraint or inhibition. Takawan is a Japanese Zen Buddhist monk from the 1600s, a master in himself, a gardener, a calligrapher, a poet, author, and an advisor to samurai and shoguns. In other words, he's helping samurai become better swordsmen. While there is conflict and violence, there's peacefulness in Buddhism. His teachings were not just for them. There's a certain mentality, metaphors, wisdom, and a thunderclap type of vibration, where it's a sound wave that makes it a holistic connection. Takawan fed info to Yagyu Menonori, he's a famous samurai, as well as may influence Miyamoto Masashi. He's an advisor monk. His teachings reveal, be serious at first, then lighten up. There's no delusion, free your mind, emptiness. There's no mind, there's no rules. You will be enlightened wherever you are. If not, you won't understand or others who aren't won't as well. There's no insult, you're not triggered, and this will be perfect for shit tests and fitness tests. Ulysses had the siren song, and it's something you can shut out. Do not be reactive, but actively floating down a river, as Incubus sings in Aqua's Transmission, floating down a river. You must have a natural sense of the parallel to the great outdoors. See the true glory of water and ice. You can look at the name of this channel, Sleeping Elephant. Most people are Linkin Park numb zombies, not living life and living quiet desperation. Be in the zone, be present moment, holistic, no mind, Mushashi's void. The mind is like a dance. Entertainment can keep you along like a chugging engine versus relax and work. And initially this philosophy was don't stop, just like ATB. Don't stop like a deer in headlights. One sword, one spirit. The mind is in other parts of the body. Freedom by not stopping. Your desires may stop you, and if you think too much of the enemy, his sword, your sword, your hand, your hand that got slashed. And if you focus on winning too much, you have not won yet because you have not emptied your mind. And also you don't want to play to avoid losing because you're just playing in a defensive tactic. Empty the mind or be at a stillness. In the beginning, you should focus and really just let it go. You eventually get the mastery, practice technique, it should bloom. And not so much reactive, but just let out in a flow state almost. Mastery, putting in the 10,000 hours. And remember, you are not in the right mindedness. Right mindedness is a virtue. And the book is meant to be a relaxing book. After you read it, you should be relaxing. You should be flowing. There should be self discipline you need to take care of, creativity, mindfulness, and combine this in your personal life as well. Complete Zen and meditation, archery, game. And here's a very interesting Robert Greene quote. The future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways. And after reading this book, I need to do further research in Japan and Zen, it's Buddhism. I've only felt a little bit of it when I went to Thailand and Cambodia. And Cambodia had more of a Buddhism slash Hinduism. So it was very interesting to see that. Next is Zen and an Alan Watts type of talks. In your personal life, you can meditate when you drive. You can enjoy the sunrise and sunset while enjoying a drink, tea, coffee, and not in your face desires like social media and porn. Anything that hits that dopamine likes. Younger males may be thrown into a zombie elixir splash, infected with porn, food, drugs, news, video games, and optics. And just by reading this book, or even this review, you can join the club of the unfettered mind. Drug induced can work and can open other parts of the mind. There is wealth of being aware and awake, not just pursuing cash and status. And you can see in the manosphere, there's a thing called monk mode. There's much more to it and more depth to it than just not having sex or abstaining from it or satiating those passions and desires. You can just focus simply on the zone. And as you can see, I read quite a bit. I just get in the zone when I read. No distractions, no notifications, no FOMO, no insult, Netflix, porn, news. Those are the enemy, especially when the ads gotcha. Don't hate on the pickle, the sword, or the penis. Let the human spirit be. Don't stop and keep those feet moving and those melodies moving. And hopefully you can use this unfettered mind and freedom into your own game. That is the end game of Zen. You're definitely on the right channel. Most definitely pick up this book and chill to its vibe.